hi good day viewers you are welcome to another interesting mass solution video so stay tuned today's question says find the area of triangle qrs if the quadrilateral pqrs is a parallelogram and angle pqr is twice the size of angle qpr so we are asked to find the area of this triangle here triangle qrs and they said this here pqrs is a parallelogram meaning this line here is parallel and equal to this line and also this line here also parallel and equal to this line here this angle pqr is twice the size of this angle qpr so since this is 2x this must be equal to 2 times 2x which equals to 4x and we can see here this side here pr is 9 centimeters in length so how can we find the area of triangle qrs the mathematical formula for finding the area of a triangle is half base times height but what are the base and the height to know the base and the height we need to know what type of triangle triangle qrs is and for that we need the length of the sides and most importantly the size of its angles though we don't have any but based on the information given here we can try finding the length and the size of the angles of triangle qrs so since this quadrilateral here pqrs is a parallelogram and this side here is nine centimeters in length this line must also be nine centimeters because opposite side of a parallelogram are parallel and equal here is another thing to be noted since this angle here is 2x this here must also be 2x because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal here also if you look since this line and this line are parallel to each other and this line qr is a straight line intersecting both that means this angle here and this angle here are alternating angles and we all know that alternating angles are equal and hence this also 4x so now if you look this angle here 5x and this 4x here are lying on the same straight line and we know that the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degree so to find the size of each angle we need to find x and to find x we can form an equation that 4x plus 5x equal to 180 degree 4x plus 5x is 9x so 9x equal to 180 degree to find the exact value of x we divide both sides by 9 so 9x over 9 equal to 180 over 9 here 9 cancels 9 and here 180 degree divided by 9 is 20 degree so x equal to 20 degree substituting x equal to 20 degree here this here 5x equal to 5 times 20 degree which equals to 100 degree here 4x is 4 times 20 which is 80 degree and here 2x is 2 times 20 degree, which is 40 degree so since this is 80 degree and this is 40 degree this must be equal to 180 degree minus 80 degree minus 40 degree because the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree 180 degree minus 80 degree minus 40 degree is 60 degree so this angle here equal to 60 degree now you can see that none of the angles of the triangle are equal and that implies that the triangle is a scaling triangle so we can take any possible side as the base so let's take this line qs here as the base so now the base of the triangle is 9 centimeters in length but what is the height since we have the size of all the angles of the triangle if we have the length of this side or this side here we can use the so-called tool to find the height of the triangle because this here is a right angle but we don't have the length of any but since we have the length of this line here from this triangle we can use the sine rule to find the length of the two other sides so let's find the length of this side here 
So using the sine rule, 9 over sine 80 degree equal to ln QR over sine 40 degree. Making ln QR the subject, ln QR equal to 9 over sine 80 degree times sine 40 degree. Press your calculator, 9 over sine 80 degree multiplied by sine 40 degree is 5.8743. So this line here is 5.8743. Now, since we have this side here to be 5.8743 centimeters, we can use the SOCAR tool from this triangle here to find the height of triangle QRS. So from this angle here, 60 degree, this here is opposite because it's facing angle 60 degree. This here, the hypotenuse, because it's facing the right angle. And this here, the adjacent. So the adjacent is not related to what we are finding. We just ignore it. So here, the opposite, O is involved, and here, hypotenuse, H is involved. So what part of the so-called wall contains O and H? This year, SOH contains O and H. So SOH means sine theta equal to opposite of our hypotenuse. Theta is 60 degree. Opposite is the height. And happiness is 5.8743. So sine 60 degree equal to height over 5.8743. Making height to subject of the formula, height equal to sine 60 degree times 5.8743. Sine 60 degree times 5.8743 is 5.0873. So now height equal to 5.0873. Now we find the height of triangle QRS to be equal to 5.0873 and we have the base here to be 9 centimeters. So substituting it into this equation here, find the area half base times height equal to 1 over 2 open brackets 9 times 5.0873. So area equal to 1 over 2 Home bracket 9 times 5.0873, which equals to 22.8929. We can round it off to be equal to 22.9. So the area is 22.9 centimeters square. So we find the area of triangle QRS to approximately be equal to 22.9 centimeters square.